Hey everyone, how's it going? My name's Mayuko and welcome back to my channel. So we've been doing a lot of like career tips, professional development advice, tech industry things on my channel, and here's another one. For starters, if you're in a fortunate enough position where you're considering between different opportunities and different jobs, then congratulations, you made it. This video is for you. You might have multiple competing offers for different companies, or you could be in interview processes for multiple companies and you just wanna be prepared for when you have to choose. Point is, at the end of the day, you do have to make a choice. And it's not just any choice, it's a choice that will decide how you spend your mornings and your day to day for hopefully years and years to come. It's a big deal, and the fact that you can only choose one makes this decision that much harder. So before I dive into like my huge spiel about like tips and tricks on how to choose jobs, let me just say beforehand that I'm a big believer in what's supposed to happen will happen. What I'm trying to say by that is that there's no inherently right or wrong decision. There's only the decision that you make with your own best interests in mind. You make your own life, your own destiny, and your own future. So whatever you choose will truly be the right choice. I just hope that took a tiny bit of pressure off your hands because I know, it's hard. Before we get started, I want to say a quick thank you to Career Karma for sponsoring today's video. Career Karma is the easiest place to find a US-based job training program online. They help over 1 million workers navigate their careers every month, offering support through a community of peers, mentors, and coaches to find your dream career. And attending a job training program like a bootcamp is the best way to quickly switch to a tech career that affords a six-figure salary, work from home flexibility, and high job satisfaction. I myself have people close to me who went to boot camps who were able to make the career switch into technology, so I highly recommend looking into them. So if you're interested, then you should be on Career Camera. It's free and you'll never ever have to pay for anything you find on there. The first 1,000 of my subscribers get exclusive free early access to Career Karma's new mini coding bootcamp. Go to ck.chat slash Mayuko to get started. Thank you so much again to Career Karma for sponsoring and now back to the video. Anyways, I'm going to outline for you all the factors that I considered when choosing paths as a software engineer. These are the things that helped steer me towards different directions as I went about through my career. So as a prerequisite to all of this, I really think it's important to think about what do you want from this opportunity? What do you want from your next job? Is it just the paycheck or are you exciting that it's your first step in the door to the tech industry? Is it somewhere you really want to grow in in the next phase of your career? Are there people that you could look up to or admire that you could really learn from? Once you know what you really want out of it, then looking at each job opportunity will just kind of be a matter of like seeing which puzzle piece fits the puzzle that you want to create. The bottom line to all of this is that I really encourage you to look at each opportunity from multiple different perspectives, what I'll call like the lenses for this video. Try to identify pros and cons from across the board from every perspective you can think of. Then look over the data that you collected and see if the choice is obvious. And you know, if it's not, then go with your heart. So let's start with a big determining factor for looking at any job. No matter how much you might want it or whether you want it for other reasons, it's the money. This is, after all, what's going to support your livelihood as you work this job. And in a place like America, it's a non-trivial factor. So is the compensation you're being offered good enough for you? One way to answer this question is to ask yourself, does it allow you to comfortably live the life that you want to? Recently, my brother went through all of this as he went for his first like full-time role as a UX designer. And we literally like tried to plot out how much it would cost for him to do life all in one spreadsheet. We scoped out all the costs for standard things like rent and food and insurance and utilities and gas based on the city that he wanted to live in. Because yes, the city makes a huge difference for prices on stuff like this. And in cases where we didn't really know what the exact number was gonna be, we just needed a ballpark. And so we Googled around things like rent prices and gas prices for that area and took an average. This stuff is important because, well, you're gonna spend a lot of time at your job. How you live outside of your job is going to impact how you perform at it, if that makes sense. Not to mention, I think it's kind of important to like enjoy your life outside of work and to be happy with your living situation, you know? So when considering an offer beyond things like the immediate living situation stuff, 
Also consider whether that compensation is gonna help you to meet your long-term life goals or financial goals too. Like what's next for you on your priority list? Moving to a big city or maybe buying a car or even a house? Maybe it's financial independence from your family for the first time. Everyone's answer here is gonna to be totally different because we all want different things in life. And also your tolerance level for money and risk and stuff is also gonna probably be different from mine, say. Some are okay with not saving a lot in favor of like a bump in their quality of life immediately. Others wanna maximize that number in their savings account. And that's also okay too. And remember, the offer contains more than just the dollar amount for your salary. It's really the whole package that comes along with working there. So things like, is it remote work? If it's an office that you can commute to, is it a comfortable place to work? Is your commute super long? Maybe it's close by in an area that you like. Also, do you get equity? And if so, how long does it take for you to vest that equity? How much vacation time do you get? Do you have to accrue that time? What about the perks? Sometimes things like a gym membership or a transportation credit get thrown in. And how much do these things actually matter to you? All of this requires a bit of projecting for what you might want your life to look like before you actually start doing so. So have a bit of imagination with this and see if the components of the offer fit your needs. So even before you get an offer, probably at the interview stage, you're thinking about things like, do you know this company? Do you respect them and the work that they do? Have you used their product and do you like it? Most simply, after you get the offer, think about, are you excited by the idea of working there? Of course, it's a great bonus if you're like their biggest fan, but you don't need to go basing your choices around stuff like that. It's really only important that you like it enough and that you feel like you'll be challenged and stimulated while working there and that you're gonna have an appreciation for the work that you do. Of course, not all jobs are like exciting from the get-go. So one helpful thing to think about is whether this job is gonna afford you opportunities in the future. Like some people really wanna travel for work and some companies actually have programs for stuff like that. Other people wanna climb the ladder and become an executive someday. And if so, are there good mentorship programs? Or is there a good direct line of communication with the people in the upper field so that you can plan for the long term? And if you don't know exactly what you want, is there at least a little bit of freedom to explore so that you can figure that out? Just make sure that when you're thinking about this stuff to think about it also realistically. No company is perfect and there are gonna be days where it feels like a grind. Literally for any job, there are going to be hard days. So maybe think about like what a hard day at this job would look like. Is there likely to be some politics within an organization? Do layoffs happen often here? And what kinds of struggles are you uncomfortable dealing with at work? I'm just mentioning this because I've been disillusioned by companies that I thought were like brilliant, shining places to work with noble missions. And then reality just hit me hard. I just wish that I had been a little bit more realistic in my thinking about what it's like to work there so that when shit happens, I wouldn't be so heartbroken. Now, I'm definitely not saying that those things are gonna happen to you per se. My positive experience definitely outweighed the negative ones. A job is still a job. And while every day might not be fun, there's a lot of fun and positivity and learning that comes from one. So I just think it's really important to be prepared and then open to all of the goodness that can come. So as you really start to consider all of your options, think about your feelings too. Like, how do you feel right now about the thought of working for this company? Are you happy about the offer? Would you be happy if you joined this company? What about a month into the job or six months or a year in? Does the idea of that scare you or excite you? By the way, being scared is okay. Like we're meant to do hard things. Fear to me is really just a signal that you're stretching yourself out of your comfort zone. And at a very core and basic and instinctual level, does it feel right to you? You'll know what that means when you ask yourself. So consider all these three lenses, the offer, the company or the product, and how you feel about this. And there's a lot of other different lenses too that might be specific to your situation. So try to find those lenses to look from. Again, I really recommend writing a list of pros and cons for each of the opportunities that you're considering. If you have multiple offers, then this makes it really easy to visualize which one's the better choice. And with all that information in your hands, hopefully things will be clearer. Maybe the process of gathering that information is really what you need. Because remember, 
The choice that you make with the right information and with your heart will be the right one. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. I really hope you liked it. Maybe you're struggling with this decision or maybe you know someone who is. I'd really love it if you'd share this video with them. And if you're on the receiving end of that, hi, welcome. You have such a nice run. I've made a lot of other videos about the job hunt process, specifically about the tech industry. So if you're interested in those videos, then check them out in the description box down below and make sure to subscribe to my channel. In a members only video, I'm talking about how I chose all of my jobs throughout my software engineering career and what factors weighed into each of them. So if you're interested in watching that, then come join the club by clicking the join button down below and getting access for as low as 99 cents a month. I've been making a lot of members only videos to go along with like the main videos that are free to you all, but becoming a member just helps me around my channel and shows me support, so I really appreciate it. All right, everybody, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.